<laughs> One of these days, Alex. That y'all darn bluegrass, Molly. Isn't that sad, you know? Hey, that was the... Okay, I'll do it really quick, okay? Well, it's really sad. Because it always turns out like this. That's why I can't really even look at people. I don't want to look at them because they see all this. But listen, Hillary's mom mm -hmm. was a baby born to two 16-year-old kids that apparently never touched her, didn't want her, that's deadly. Mm -hmm. That is deadly. Mm -hmm. So Hillary's mom comes in to the household, and I think she was uh, nice. Mm -hmm. I think dad sounded worse because they fought all the time. Hillary's mom and dad. Yes. And I think that dad crushed her because he talked about demeaning her. And just crushing her. Mm -hmm. And she was a pretty smart person. Mm -hmm. Probably because she hadn't been that touched that much. She, your brain starts to work more, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Your, your, your whole thing is thinking, oh, why am I not getting love? I better be the best I can. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what happens is that what was missing in the mom. And then she gets, she's watching this all the time. This man doing this, powering out. She was just waiting as a young university. She was just waiting for something to jump on mm -hmm. to go after it, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Both, both their parents, depression. Yeah. Back to Wall Street. Back to Wall Street. You have no idea of the heartache that those sons of bitches down on Wall Street cause. That's why that's where I'm going to focus. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're doing now? Yeah. Oh. Let's do it in a Joey well, G. Well, we should have done I should have done that sad talking. <laughs> you know, because what we all do and you can you can think about this, what we all do I went out in the world, and I fulfilled my dad's mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Now, do you find it a little unusual that you're a singer-songwriter? <laughs> no, it's you know, getting a little more prolific all the time. It's not surprising. You know, to me. that's <laughs> little, that's a little weird, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Hillary is fulfilling all that stuff, right? And that's why. Because of this whole cold thing coming down, she can be ruthless, mm -hmm. really ruthless, mm -hmm. and and it's a, it's scary to me. It's a little scary. Mm -hmm. Of course, anybody that's getting that that really wants that job, you know, uh, should be kind of insane. Yeah, I was watching. A b oh, never mind. Let's go. Okay. Can we do it in E and do it like a, like a. Uh, oh, that yeah, uh, like a bluesy. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, what key am I supposed to be in? It says E there. It says E? Yeah. Oh. Like that? Yeah. Michael Jackson song. Yeah. Bobby Day song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I say he's rocking through tub all day long. I say he's rocking in a bobbin and a singing his song. All the little birds down Jaybird Street. They love to hear the robin. He goes tweet, tweet, tweet. Rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Hey, rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I say, old rockin' robin, man, you're really gonna rock tonight. I say, they're really swallowing every chick-o-dee. Really good birdie in a tall old tree. Wise old down on the big black crow on the tap and the wing Saint go bird go rock and robin Hey rock and robin Say oh rock and robin man you really gonna rock tonight Pretty little ribbon at the bird band stand Talk the man to the bop and it was grand Started going steady and it rest my soul on a pop a bull and a warrior. They rocked in the treetop all day long. 
rockin' and a boppin' and a singin' a song. All little birds down the jaybird's tree. Oh, you have to hear rock me, oh, tree, 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 rockin' robin. Tree, tree, rockin' robin. Tree, tree, tree. Say, oh, rock, rock, man, you really gon' rock tonight. I said, oh, rock and roll, man, you really gonna rock tonight. I said, oh, rock and roll, man, you really gonna rock tonight. Rock and roll, man, you really gonna rock tonight. <laughs> Was that helpful? Yeah. And this might help people not feel so terrible about these people, you know, if they heard this, mm -hmm. you know. Because the Donald, well, his dad, also depression, and uh, totally obsessed with getting money, completely obsessed with money. When he took the family out on Sundays, he would take them to the, the construction sites of his places, and they'd pick up nails. Didn't want to waste the nails. Mm -hmm. He'd just pick up nails. Yeah. Well, that's obsession, right? Because yeah. he was quite, ri quite a rich dude. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's obsession. Yeah. Right? Well, let's see, he's going through. Going through to Donald. Yeah. 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 Um, it's Molly in the middle. Oh, Molly in the middle. Mm -hmm. Heidi ho. I had more to say about the Donald than that, but uh, no, the dad was cool mm -hmm. with the children and everything, mm -hmm. and it's really bad. It's much the same as Henry Ford. These guys are all sort of the same. They're obsessed. They're obsessed guys, right? Yeah. And uh, that's why I don't really see them as too alpha mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. you know, because they sacrificed their family and their kids. You know, Joe Kennedy took part of her brain out, you know, because she was too sexualized. Mm -hmm. Well, he was a mad sexual freak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let me tell you about the Donald. Mm -hmm. So, cold dad. Mm -hmm. um, I shouldn't have. Said mad sexual freak. <laughs> Sorry about it. Sorry about it. I'll have to tell you. Oh yeah. And so uh it's really bad, right? Donald made it through and is like pushing on, right? But the older brother, who was the first apprentice of the dad, mm -hmm. who wasn't rebellious, sounded like kind of a nice guy. They usually are, like Edsel Ford. I was talking about Henry Ford, well his son Edsel, but they're just crucified by these people, right? Mm -hmm. And so that son really didn't want to do it and would, didn't have an aptitude for it. Mm -hmm. And so he, he failed big time. Mm -hmm. And they were Norman Vincent Peale people, you know, success, ba 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 ba. But anyways, um, but the son wanted to go off and go flying, so he went off and became a pilot. Mm -hmm. But when they would get together, the dad and Donald would be saying, well, what are you more than a you know, bus driver? What's the difference between you and a bus driver? And I was thinking when they said that, well, there's nothing wrong with being a bus driver if you really like it. Bus drivers are kind of therapists, mm -hmm. you know, but whatever. They demeaned him. And he died a raving alcoholic in, in his 40s, right? Mm -hmm. So these families, you've got to look. Mm -hmm. And it can all start with a Wall Street crash, mm -hmm. right? And it's not good. That's why anybody that wants the job... Mm -hmm. Probably, you should be doing it a different way. Yeah. You should be doing the looking because the real good ones, they Don't never going to ask, <laughs> ask for those jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> you got to change the whole system. It's Molly in the middle time. What are you singing tonight, Ma? Um, That one I was just singing. You forgot. Tennessee whiskey. Oh. Oh, this is a new song mm -hmm. by Richard Hanks. Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton. Yeah. All right. It sounded good. Here's a big old town radio show. Used to spend my night down in a bar room. Liquor was the only love I. Rescued me from reaching for the bottom. Brought me back from 
being too far gone. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Stay stoned on your love all the time. I look for love in all the same old places. Found the bottom of a bottle, always dry. There's nothing like your love to get me high. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. that was pertinent about it made it blend in with my my stories about the Donald and Hillary mm-hmm. we are love machines <laughs> and there's one important thing is the kids gotta get a lot of it mm-hmm. and that doesn't mean I you say I love you I love you I love you, you I don't even I don't never said that in my life I don't think <laughs> <laughs> You gotta actually do it. Yeah. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah. <laughs> 